Okay, now I don't know any Aboriginal stories, so who knows a few, but I don't. So I'm going to tell you a story from the Pacific Northwest of Canada, um, from a First Nations people called the Haida. And the Haida Nation has been around a few thousand years. And uh, they, this is a myth, but of course, why do, why do we move up and shit? Why do the uh, why do older civilizations create myths? That's the question. If 
until I get off the hole, all the ocean will pour into it. Well, Raven had an idea. Now, Raven was the trickster. He was called the trickster, you know what that is, right? Some of the tricks that everyone knows. So he had... So he says, hey, Rick, see that headland just over there? Just over the other side of that headland? There are all these fish and clams and crabs that's flying on the sea floor, and they ate them up. That's not possible, said the big man. And he got up to see over the headland. And quick as a flash, Raven grabbed two sharp ones, struck up, stuck him on the edge of the hole. So when the big man went to sit down again, he couldn't, because the rocks were sticking into his bum. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> said Raven. Look you, look at you. And he flew up and he looked down, and there was the ocean all pouring into the hole. And then he flew back up the shoreline. And he looked down, and there were all the creatures just lying on the ocean floor. He thought, boy, we're going to collect up all those creatures, and boy, we're going to eat them, get the people together, we'll cook them up, have a big feast and a powwow. And boy, I can't wait to get them. So sure enough, when he got back, he took the people out, and they gathered all the fish, shelf, and clams and stuff, cooked them all up, and had a big feast and a powwow. And they ate. Still doing it. 
big man's still out there up in the Arctic.